Hi everyone! Thanks for joining me again today. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter celebrating our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who is alive. Well, you might have noticed that I am outside today recording. I thought it'd be nice just to get some fresh air and I love the fresh air, but it's really pretty sunny outside. So I'm gonna put on some sunglasses here. Nope, still too sunny, okay. Getting there, getting better. I really gotta protect my eyes though, so I think I'm gonna put on one more pair. Oh, perfect. Oh wait, oh wait, is this my phone? Where'd you guys go? I can't, I can't really see anything. Oh no. All right, I can see there is somebody here, but I don't know who it is because I have so many pairs of sunglasses on. I hope it's not a stranger. Hi Jennifer. Oh, hi Jason. I couldn't see you very well with all my sunglasses, but when you said my name, I knew your voice. You know, that actually reminds me of a Bible story that I'm going to tell them all really quick. Really? Yeah. Cool. But thanks for joining for a little bit today. And I'm going to take off my three pairs of sunglasses here. So in our Bible story today, there's a woman named Mary Magdalene. And Mary went to go visit the tomb or the place where Jesus was buried on Easter morning. But when she got there, the tomb was empty. But Mary didn't know that Jesus was alive. In fact, Mary thought this meant that someone had stolen Jesus' body. Well, Mary was very sad, and so she went to a nearby garden to cry. And while she was crying, a man came up to her and said, Why are you crying? Well, Mary thought that this man was the gardener, so she said, Sir, please, if you know where Jesus' body is, please tell me. Then the man said, Mary. And with that word, Mary knew that this was not the gardener. This man was Jesus. It was like Mary had three pairs of sunglasses on. She wasn't fully able to see Jesus until he said her name. Well, we know Jesus now too. Jesus talks to you and me, not quite in the same way he talked to Mary face to face, but the Bible is God's words to you and to me. And in the Bible, we know that Jesus calls us by name as he called Mary in the garden because he created us and he loves us. Jesus cares for you and promises to always be with you no matter what. It's a really cool story after Easter. So can you guys please fold your hands, bow your heads, and we'll do our repeat after me prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for calling me by my name as you called Mary in the garden. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Thanks, everyone. Have an awesome week.